Jack and the Beanstalk. There once lived a boy named Jack. He and his mother were very poor. All they had in this world was a cow, which they milked every single day. Every day after milking, she would say to Jack, Take the milk into town, sell it to the general store, and bring back the money to me. This money was all they had to buy the things they needed for their food and clothing. One morning, the cow stopped giving milk, and Jack said, Mother, the cow has run dry. We will have to sell her. Then sell her and bring home the money. So Jack went to town to sell the cow in the market. On the way to town, he met an old man. Good day, young man. What a fine cow you have there. Do you want to sell her? Yes, sir. Do you want to buy her? I do. How much money are you going to give me? Oh, I have something much better than money. He showed Jack five beans and told him they were magic beans. At first, Jack did not want to trade the cow. But then the old man told him that the beans would grow very big in one day and bring a lot of money. So Jack agreed. The old man took the cow and gave Jack the magic beans. Jack ran home to tell his mother the good news. Mother, mother, look what I got for our cow. You are a good boy, Jack. Now give me the money. Jack showed her the beans, and his poor mother became very angry. She went to get a paddle to punish him. Mother, but they are magic beans. But his mother would not listen to him. She spanked him, threw the beans out of the window, and sent Jack to bed without supper. He was a very unhappy little boy. The following morning, when Jack woke up, the room looked funny. The sun was shining through one window, but the other window was full of green leaves. Jack ran to the window. What a surprise! There, outside in the yard, was a great big beanstalk. It reached all the way up into the sky. Jack now knew that they were really magic beans. He ran outside and jumped onto the beanstalk and started to climb up the beanstalk. Higher and higher he went until he came to the sky. There he saw a long road that seemed to go on and on. Jack started to walk. He walked and walked until finally he came to a very large house. He found a crack under the big door, crept underneath, and found himself in a big hall. Just as he was going to walk to the next room, he heard a loud noise. Clump, clump, clump. Suddenly, he saw two big feet coming down the hall. They belonged to the bad giant Bobo, who lived in the house. Bobo did not like little children. He could even smell little children when any of them were nearby. He sniffed and said, Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll have his bones to grind my bread. His wife quickly came out of the kitchen and said, Bobo, there's nobody around here. Maybe it's something I am cooking. Oh, no, it's not. I know I smell the blood of a little boy. Just then, the wife noticed Jack, who was hiding in the corner. She was a kind woman and motioned to Jack to stay hidden. But he peeked around the corner and watched the giant. The giant sat down and ate his breakfast. 
Then he took two bags of gold coins and began to count them. Soon he became very sleepy. His head was nodding, and he began to snore so loudly that it sounded like thunder. Quickly, Jack came out of his hiding place, grabbed a bag of gold coins, and ran as fast as he could to the beanstalk. But the bag of gold was so heavy that he dropped it, and it fell down and down, spilling the coins into his mother's garden. It looked as if it was raining gold coins in the garden. Quickly, Jack climbed down the beanstalk and soon was home again. Mother, mother, he cried. Look what I have brought you. She came running out of the house and was very excited when she saw all that money. Jack, you are a wonderful son. I am sorry I spanked you. They took the money and bought many, many things. One day, all the money was gone, and Jack said to his mother, Mother, I'll go up the beanstalk again and see what I can find. And up he went once more. At last he came to the road he had been on before and found the giant's house. In front of the house stood the giant's wife. Please, Jack begged. I am so hungry. Could you please give me something to eat? Since Jack had on different clothes from the last time, the woman didn't recognize him. She took him inside and gave him his breakfast. But soon the clump, clump, clump was heard again, and there came the giant. The woman hid Jack in the oven, and everything that happened the last time happened again. The giant started to say, Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. But his wife said, Oh, don't be so silly. And he sat down and ate his breakfast. After breakfast, he said, Woman, bring me my hen that lays golden eggs. She brought him the hen, and the giant said, Lay. The hen laid a sparkling golden egg. The giant became sleepy again, and his head began to nod. Soon he was snoring so loudly that the house was shaking. Jack jumped out of the oven, grabbed the hen, and started running. But the hen was so surprised at being suddenly taken away that she started to cluck and woke up the giant. Wife, what did you do with my hen? Jack just kept on running and quickly climbed down the beanstalk. Mother, mother, look what I got this time. He showed her the hen and said, Lay. Promptly, the hen laid another golden egg. They had money again, but Jack just could not forget about the beanstalk. One day, he decided to go up again. When he got to the giant's house, he became a little frightened. What if they recognized him? But the giant's wife was very friendly. She fed him again, and when the giant came, she hid him in a copper pot. The giant said, Be fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. There you go again, smelling things that are not there. Eat your breakfast, dear. So the giant sat down and ate his breakfast. Jack watched him from under the lid of the copper pot. After breakfast, the giant said, Woman, bring me my magic harp. She brought him the harp and set it on the table. The giant barely touched the harp when it started to play. The music was so beautiful, it filled the whole room with sound like the ripple of a stream. 
last, the giant became sleepy. His head nodded, and he snored again very loudly. Quick as a wink, Jack jumped out of the pot, crept over to the table, and climbed up the table leg. Quietly, he grabbed the harp. But as soon as he touched it, it started calling out. Master! Master! And woke up the giant. He could just see Jack running around the corner with the magic harp. The giant ran after him, but he had eaten so much breakfast that he could not run as fast as Jack. The harp kept calling. Master! Master! Jack climbed down the beanstalk, and the giant followed. He was so heavy that the beanstalk swayed from side to side as if it would break. When Jack got to the bottom, he took an axe and quickly chopped down the beanstalk. The giant fell to the ground. And that was the end of him. Then Jack showed his mother the magic harp. He touched it, and it played and played. Jack and his mother were very happy then. They would sit and listen to the harp. And even the hen would sway back and forth with the sound of the beautiful music. One evening, they heard a loud moo outside. And there was the cow Jack gave away for the magic beans. She had come home to stay. And they all lived happily ever after.